Hey, welcome back, Long Rodders. You don't want to miss today's episode. We got a really cool micro nymph holiday version you won't find anywhere else but here. Let's get to the vise and start tying right now. Hey, welcome back, Long Rodders. We're going to show you today how to tie my holiday nymph. And it's tied on a size 18, so it's a small nymph. It'll be great for this winter. And don't forget, if you haven't ever subscribed yet, do that so you don't miss any of our tying videos or fishing videos. There'll be a list of materials used in this fly down below and a link below each material where you can pick it up. And we make affiliate marking money when you do this. It's great to support the channel. Okay, so that's enough said. Let's go to the vise. I'm gonna start by debarbing the hook. And when using such small hooks, man, please debarb. They were really hard to get out, so. We're going to start the uh, <clears throat> me. we're going to start the thread right behind the eye of the hook, and then we are going to wrap it about halfway down the shank to cut off the tag. Now for the tail, we're going to use regular pheasant tail. You only need a couple fibers. This is a really small hook. It's a size 18, really little teeny teeny fly. And uh, so you only need a couple. We took a little snapshot of where, notice where my fingers are being are placed. I measured the tail for the length of the shank of the hook. I've used, transfer that measurement over and put that where the tail would start. Then I wrapped the thread back at the rest of the half way. Not where I have my fingers, because then your tail will be too short. And then we're going to wrap the thread back up to the eyelet. Now we're going to tie in some hot yellow ultra fine wire. And we're going to run that back to way to the edge where we stopped the thread at the tail. And then we are going to use purple nail polish. Now, I know most of you guys use hard as nails, that's what this is. Purple, and we're gonna use that under the wire, because we're gonna leave little gaps every once in a while in the wire, and I want the purple show. You can use black heads, if you want black to show through, or purple, or yellow, you can do yellow, so it looks old. And the white, reason why we're using this wire is for the holidays, is gold. You know, for gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Now we're going to throw a whip finish in here because we're going to use the rotational vise to wrap this. You could put it in a bobbin and wrap it like you do thread around the hook. I'm just going to use my rotational vise. If you don't have one, that's what you can do. Put it in a bobbin and just do it like you thread. Now we're going to take our, our bobbin of wire, hold straight out and start rotation, rotating the device. If you don't have a ro rotational vise, you get one in the link below, the one I use. It's pretty cheap. But anyway, so you're going to hold out on that as you're wrapping that wire on the, on the hook. 
And if you leave gaps like I do, I mean, I find it easier to not stress the wraps that they're tight together and the whole thing's covered with wire on a hook this small when they work just as good, maybe better, this way. And I've had a lot of luck wrapping my wire with little gaps in it, some black stone shoe, it worked black or whatever color you have under there, it's showing through, it works really well. I run my thread on both sides of the wire, secure it down, make tight wraps, and just helicopter spin it, and it'll just break off. And that'll leave no tag, too. So it's really nice that way. Next, we're going to tie um, some clear UV tinsel, and we're going to use that as a shell over on the thorax. I'm going to tie that in. I want to make sure that that is tied in directly on top of the hook. Next, we're going to tie in two really small back black rubber legs which will make four legs in the end so we're going to tie them in and you're going to figure eight that what I mean is let's suppose this part here is your leg your legs you go in and in there and that and that'll spread your legs out now if they're not perfectly placed perfectly right you'll notice when we add the dubbing you can use the dub dubbing to place the legs a little bit better but you want to make them like almost like a cross so your legs are coming out like that when you're done and figure eighting it will get them to spread and hold in place um now we're going to use some purple UV dubbing and we're going to put that just a little bit on. Remember this fly is teeny. If you'd see how big this fly is without being in its tying right now, it's just teeny. It's really, it's really small. So be very sporadic on the dubbing. Now we're going to add, you're going to notice we add a wrap behind the legs. And that will keep spread out in the back. Then you're going to wrap one or two wraps in between the legs. And you don't want any dubbing hardly in front of them legs. Because you're going to run out of room to tie your whip finish your fly. You want to make sure you leave enough room behind the eyelet to finish the fly and you have to make sure you left enough room to tie that tinsel over and then you're going to tie that as close to the front legs as you can to leave enough room to whip finish it Now you're going to cut off your tinsel as close to the thread as you can. Do not cut your thread. Okay, as close as you can so it doesn't cover up that eyelet. Now you're going to whip finish this. Um, I know you're really close to this fly. is really small, so sometimes you might get a, a straggly uh, whip finish loop. 
too close to the eyelet, you can just take your thumb and push back on the eyelet to, to open it back up of any uh, stray thread wraps you might have had. Now we're going to trim the legs to the length we want. I usually trim mine about three quarters of the shank or the shank length of the shank of the hook. Now this is a really cool fly and it's really small. And at the end of this video, if you're still here, I'll show you, tell you one of the reasons I'm going to, I dyed this. But let's take a closer look at the fly and we'll get to that later. Hey, hey, long riders. I hope you like that fly. Now, we're going to tell you at this end of this video why we're going to use it. Um, first, make sure you subscribe. You don't miss any of our time videos. I almost forgot to put this point in. You can see a list of materials below that we use to tie this fly. And links where you can buy every materials we use to tie this fly. And if you use these links, we get some cash. Like this one. This one, I made up. I didn't sit find this in no pattern book or anything. It's my fly. I made it up. And uh, usually I'll field test it. But this winter, it's cold right now. It's like 20 degrees outside. Kind of hard to fish. So when we do start fishing, and then uh, when it warms up, when we get a warm day, I'll show you, we're going to use this as our main dropper fly, and then we'll tail it with one of the midges we tied earlier on the YouTube channel, and uh, you can check them up, I'll put them right there, and check them out, and uh, then we'll tail off maybe two feet and have a, a midge on the end, and it's kind of the purpose is, it's a tractor fly, it gets the fish to look. They look, they see the midge coming through, natural bait, and they take hit the midge. And this is a system that works a lot. A lot of people use it. And so we decided to come up with a really... Now, do not do not get me wrong. They will take that fly. We will catch fish on this fly. I guarantee we will. But sometimes we'll take the midge, and it's a tractor fly. And sometimes they take their tractor. So, I really like this pattern I came up with. I love the purples. For some reason, purples work. They've been really working on uh, the caddis as I tied, and it was olive caddis coming off, and I took the purple caddis. I, that's, for some reason, the fish like it. So, tie some of these up, and look forward to them uh, using them fishing, and we'll be show you our actual setup. So, for now, thank you for watching. Here's videos you can see. There's a video just for you that's right that goes off of what you like watching most subscribe button keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip and thank you for watching our videos